Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today I'm going to be recreating another insane real life machine known as the AVLB or the Armored. The Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find it interesting that they use the word launched instead of deployed because launch just makes me feel like they just toss the thing. Well, no, it is a bridge that is deployed from an armored vehicle, like a tank. There's a lot of different versions of them, but in general, they looked kind of like this or this or this or maybe some of this. Now, much like the mine sweeping chain flail tank that I recreated a little while ago, this kind of gives me the vibes of it looks like it shouldn't have worked, but somehow was actually pretty useful because although tanks are really, really great in a lot of types of terrain, they were not really that great when it came to trenches or rivers that had any kind of depth to them. So being able to lay a bridge across a trench or a river or something and then have not only just your tank, but all of the actual tanks with weapons on them be able to cross pretty swiftly is, uh, it's, it's really, really useful. So this is probably going to be one of the more complicated builds I've done. So let's take a look at what kind of challenge I have ahead of me. All right. So there's a couple of different designs of this kind of tank, and I'm going to be going based off of this design. I'm not going for an exact aesthetic replica. I'm just going for a mechanical replica of what this thing does. So basically what you're seeing here is uh, a tank with a massive folded bridge on it. And I think it's about 60 feet long uh, after it becomes unfolded. So this huge uh, foot support thing essentially comes out to the ground, carrying the bridge with it. And then after this thing settles on the ground, there's another folding mechanism right here. Oh, it, it kind of cut. The, the bridge is unfolding now. A little bit of a continuity skip there. All right, now you can see it. So here's the foot right here. This whole section is unfolding, which is also then unfolding the bridge. And this is what was confusing me for the longest time is I couldn't figure out the bridge is clearly separately controlled. See, he's raising the bridge right now to be in line at the appropriate angle to the ground as he lowers it. And I was like, okay, if this bridge is separate from this vehicle, how are they controlling it? So apparently at least this version uses hydraulics uh, with a disconnecting hydraulic hose that uh, he's able to control from the tank. So I'm going to have to try to simulate some type of control system in Scrap Mechanic to be able to do this. I don't know how that's going to go yet. Um, but then, of course, let me fast forward a little bit. He lays down the bridge. He separates from the bridge. Why are you zooming in so much? Show what's happening. <laughs> Okay, this is a this isn't the best video. I just like that it kind of it, it zoomed in on some of the mechanical features for me But hold on so this right here I think is key which is why I was already at this part of the video. It seems there's the bridge This is the big folding mechanism. It seems like this pin right here is likely what hooks into the bridge so this thing goes down and lines up with the bridge and then it gets pushed in to be able to lift it up. So there's probably some type of leverage between that pin hooking in there and then the rest of the bridge being settled against the arm down here. So it gets lifted up and onto the back of this thing. So keeping it stable while it drives away is gonna be an interesting challenge in scrap mechanic at least. Uh, but here it is deploying with a wide angle view. Here we go. So I'm just gonna skip. It takes a little while, but I'm gonna skip through. There we go. Yep, so the bridge gets laid down. I like how they chose flat ground for the demo here. <laughs> really showing the usefulness. We can get right over this. Uh, maybe it's a soft patch. We all know how soft patches, after looking at the SAR tank, if you missed that video, soft patches can be uh, make or break for some designs in history. And look at that, he drives right over, no problem at all. So any videos and stuff that I reference in my video, I will leave a link down in the description so you can see the whole thing. This one I thought would be fun to show. I am not gonna be using this design, but this is an alternative design that I see as being way less efficient and way more difficult to execute mechanically. <laughs> Apparently the Dutch here thought instead of having the bridge just fold up on itself, why don't we have it slide and shear each half against each other and then line them up manually after the fact. So look at what this thing does. All right, so it settles in. So I guess first it moves the top part back a little bit, which, okay. And th this guy likes to pan over to this helicopter right during the most important parts. And then it moves the bottom part way forward 
out in front and then is it gonna move the top part back again all right now it moves the top part back a little bit more like now you need two different folding arms like one for each section and then i don't even know how stable the connection ends up being as here so that just kind of they somehow are going to connect together i don't know if i feel like that would be mechanically less sound than having it already a pre-connected hinge that just unfolds but uh, I guess they're just connecting two independent pieces and then the whole thing gets I don't I didn't look into this one as much so it gets rolled out somehow and laid across the gap and then this tank is free to cross the gap which they don't demonstrate in the video suspicious hmm also I kind of like how this looks like something that a tank really wouldn't have an issue getting through it's not really that deep and it has enough of a flat spot for it to kind of level off before having to go up a relatively short and small incline that I think tank tracks could do pretty well you know they get the point across whether or not they actually need the bridge for this section it gets the point across about how it's supposed to work so at least I mean at least it's better than doing it on completely flat grass like in this video <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to be going with this design. Seems a little bit simpler to execute since the bridge is one object rather than two different objects. We're going to try to keep the simplest amount of mechanical stuff as I can because um, I'm not an engineer and I'm using a video game with more limited building mechanics than real life. So let's get started. All right, so there are a couple of key parts to this build that I think are going to be particularly challenging. One part is being able to reliably hook into and lift the bridge as a separate object without it being prone to falling off, especially once I'm all folded up and trying to drive around. The other part is trying to unfold the bridge and control it from the vehicle when I cannot wire the vehicle to the bridge since it is not connected to the bridge. So I do have some pretty basic ideas of how to solve these problems, but I don't know if it's going to work until I try them. So I'm going to start off by building our tank base first. And I'm going to use the heaviest material, Concrete 3 here, because we really need this thing to be able to support this entire bridge being way away from its center of mass. Because here, look, even, even in this video, if you watch close, they zoom in, look at the back of the tank here. Even this thing, this thing is lifting. This is lifting up this entire tank. That is sketchy, but they have, uh, they have this foot out in front of the tank that really helps stabilize it as it lays that bridge down okay so i think i got the basic tank shape down here i'm just gonna power this thing up make it work as a drivable vehicle we've got forward we've got backwards we've got right oh let me do free cam all right and we got left and everything looks like it's doing pretty well okay easy part is over now it is time to regret my life choices for a little while Okay, so this is where I've got to build the big support foot that folds out and carries the bridge on it. All right, so I'm going to make this part out of the plastic block because it's not quite as heavy as concrete or metal, but we don't need it to be super light here because this is also the part that is responsible for keeping us planted right before the bridge as the bridge lays down. So this is going to be out 90 degrees. I have it hooked into a controller right here so you can see how it is going to be lifting up and coming back down. So when it goes to 90 degrees, it should plant directly on the ground in front of the tank. All right, so obviously we can use wedge blocks to make this thing look much more professional. Okay, so this is the main support that folds out first and then directly coming straight up from here will essentially be the bridge before it folds out. And it looks like it's hinged right from the end of this. Oh, I was wrong about where the, this isn't the hinge for the bridge. The hinge for the bridge actually comes from right here. This is the hinge for the piston that is powering the bridge, but I don't know if I'm going to be using piston power for this. Okay, so I think I got the mechanism all set, so check it out. I tried to use pistons to make it look more legit, but I think the pistons are going to result in an issue with aligning because they don't have as much freedom of movement. So you can see the pistons extend that down. And it looks okay, but you can see it's not level to the ground. But the problem is, if I go one more tick on the pistons, now it's way too low. So I'm either too high or too low, and that's not good. Unless I have the bridge set up where this can somehow fit inside there. I don't know. All right, so all that's really left is to just build this massive bridge in a hope that I can pick it up with this thing. I don't know if the pistons are going to be strong enough. I'm going to build the bridge all out of wood because it's pretty light. Or should I do cardboard because it's even lighter? 
I'm going to build the bridge out of cardboard because it's really light. So by the looks of it, the bridge is only slightly wider than the actual vehicle itself. So I'm going to give it one block of clearance on both sides. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at for bridge dimensions here. And I, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go with this. So now lengthwise, it actually extends out a decent amount past the back of the bridge. That's because also a lot of it gets taken up by this here. So yeah, I'm going to have it extend out a little bit past the, uh, past the tank. Did I say the bridge? I meant the tank. You know what I'm saying. Oh, that's concrete. All right, and to cut down on weight and materials, I'm also gonna make the bridge treaded like this. Okay, so this could potentially be half the bridge right here. So before I uh, duplicate this as another half, I think I should first figure out how to pick this half up with that thing. So I should probably put this arm down so I can see what it's gonna be like. Okay, so look at that. I think this bridge might have to go a little bit thicker too. Okay, so there we go. It's kind of hard to see from this perspective, but the pipes slide right into those slots there. And the only issue is now I can't lift up without some type of leverage. So I think, am I able to pipe through here? Ooh, I don't know about that. That might not work very well, or it might work perfectly. I don't know. All right, let's see how this feels. Can I push? I can push it into there and then press number six. Ooh, look at that. Oh, those need... I can't close that off on the bottom, though. I might need to add another layer of thickness to this bridge, which is getting a little crazy. Or maybe I can use the license plates. Here, here, what if I cover up the bottom with that? So it's gonna be like a little bit off the ground. Now as the pipes go in here, they're gonna be covered on all sides. So let's see if I can actually pick this half of the bridge up with this. Here we go, right in front. Oh, 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 too far forward. Okay. There we are. Oh. Hmm, now it's pushing on that pipe, but I need that pipe for leverage, but I can't go forward enough. And it's not letting me get into the slot here. Oh, there we go. We got in. Okay, now what happens if I lift up from here? It's not all the way in, which concerns me, but let's see. Oh, wrong one. Let's see what happens if I put it back like this now. Where is it going to rest? Like that. And now the issue that I have is, is it just going to fall off when I drive? Yep, that's what, that's the next thing I have to try to figure out, but I have ideas for that. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere, though. We're getting pretty close to something. Okay, I think I'm going to experiment with making this three blocks tall because we really need a center point for these to, uh, these pegs to be able to insert. All right, this is getting more and more massive the more I play around with this, and that's okay. It's a massive project. It, it actually is massive in real life too, so just being historically accurate here. So now this actually gives me less conflict with the leverage point here. Okay, now let's see how this feels. Come on. Oh, oh, too far back. There we go. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Look at that right there. Come on, get in a little bit more. Lift up. Yeah, see that bar right there? That gives us the leverage to pull it up. Settles down really nice now. And then bring this part up. I should probably lower the speed of all of this, to be honest. And yeah, and now we just have the problem of sliding off that we have to try to fix. And also controlling the other half of this bridge that's supposed to hinge off of this entire thing. Okay, so with the two bridges next to each other, this is the length of a bridge that we're looking at. Theoretically, if we can get this to work, <laughs> this is how much we should be able to cross. Now I just got to get them to link together on a hinge. All right, so now I gotta figure out how to attach this thing. I gotta weld this to that, even though it's not technically ready because I still can't open the bridge. Uh, but look at the face. Look at the face this made. <laughs> That's totally a face right there. All right, so I should be able to just attach this. Okay, so that's how the bridge sits. And that's fine, because there's room to build up on top of this tank now. The idea is that if I delete these, it should disconnect the bridge. Yep, yeah, now the bridge should be a separate object. So let's hop into the driver's seat here and see if we can lay this down now. So number five should come first. I need to slow that down. Perfect. And then number six. And yeah, we just need to be able to control the bridge now. But as far as deploying the bridge, things are working as intended so far. Now, how do I open the bridge without being able to wire anything to the bridge? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I have a piston mechanism that is going to trigger sensors 
that are built into the bridge, and that is going to allow me to communicate to the bridge and have it hopefully open the uh, the bridge when I need it to. Okay, check it out. This actually works at least when everything is connected on the lift and they're not separate objects. Uh, if I press number seven, you can see those pistons at the top of the screen will push out and trigger the sensors to undo this entire, br not undo, but you know, unfold this entire bridge. And then they're even strong enough to fold the whole thing back in, which I'm really surprised at. But I'm also realizing I need to add a little bit more to this bridge. Just another layer right here. There we go. That way, when it opens up, they should collide with each other. Yep, causing a nice flat surface to prevent the bridge from overextending. So now, the other thing that I need to do is get this bridge to settle in place and not slide off once it is retracted and pulled back up onto the tank here. I don't think that should be hard to do. My plan is to use like this crossbeam right here and have it settle into like a groove that'll lock it in position when it's down here and it can be easily lifted out and put back in. Okay, so I'm thinking it should be pretty easy to guide it right into this area. So then as you can see, it is going to lock. It won't be able to go back in this direction any farther if it just locks in right there. And I think I can pretty easily guide it in. And this is also gonna add weight to the back of this too, which will help with uh, putting the bridge down. So I could just put these ramp pieces in this direction. So that's gonna help guide that from that side. And if it goes too far, these vertical ramp pieces like this should help guide it in from there and it should just lock in right there and that should prevent it from sliding out from um this pin system right here so although this is kind of big and bulky what i like about it is it's non-mechanical there's no moving parts to this i don't have to like latch any pins to go in or anything like that it just kind of serves its own purpose doesn't contribute to any lag or anything like that okay i think it's ready for its first full function test so we just delete this Let's drive it around. Let's make sure that the bridge actually stays in place as we drive around. We can drive around. It looks like it supports the weight pretty well. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start deploying the bridge. Just like their first test. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is not what I was expecting right here. It seems like I can't pull it out of the groove that I made for it. I was not expecting that. Wow, it's actually stuck in there. No, I got a solution. I got a solution again. I'm gonna replace these with pipe pieces and I think pipes are gonna be easier to pull out of the groove. Okay, take two. Let's see if I can pull it out now. All right, number five. Oh, look at that. That made all the difference. All right, we put it down and then I'm kind of thinking like number six and seven. Oh, that's really fast. That's like the slowest it goes though. Oh! Oh, look at that. <laughs> it, it works so well. Okay, so now what do I do? Do I, do I just back up? Oh, big problem. Big problem. I got to reverse those. Yeah, I got to have the sensors being triggered. And then when the sensors are not triggered, that is when it folds up. Or that is when it unfolds. Okay, this is... I'm impressed that it's able to fold itself up like that. Look at this. Well done. Is it going to balance perfectly too? I'm impressed. Okay, so now the pistons are extended by default and the bridge should unfold when I retract the pistons. All right, so let's give this thing another try here. Let's do a quick test drive around, make sure the bridge is stable. If I reverse directions quickly, bridge doesn't lose its position. Okay. And that's the issue actually is driving a, whoa. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad too. Hmm. Okay, let's try again. I'm betting if I don't drive around and lift it up. Oh, why doesn't it lift up anymore? It lifted up per, I didn't change the shape of anything. I just changed programming. I'm gonna experiment by putting higher friction blocks in where the uh, pipes are gonna be contacting. Next adjustment is gonna be extending the pegs by a block. Okay, here it goes. What's going on now? Oh, oh, I see a, oh, I see part of the issue. Okay, oh boy, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second, stay there. So you stay there now, stay there, calm down, calm down. I think I know the issue, I think the issue is that this is too wide. This can't be the same exact width as this. There needs to be some wiggle room in there. Don't worry, I got, I got, 
I got the solution now. I'm pretty sure this is gonna solve it. Okay, you ready? We can still drive around perfectly fine. Okay, please, please work this time. Lift up. Oh, yes, that was the issue. Oh, I got some paint issues over there. Okay, and then I feel like I should hook number six and seven into pretty much the same switch. Okay, whoa. Why is it not opening? Hold on. Mm, why is that? No! Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, that was just a scrap mechanic glitch. That wasn't a, um, a mechanical issue or anything with the build. All right, so now it should open up. And there we go. All right, yeah, that's that's all kind of, that's pretty fluid. What if I, I want to see what happens. Is there a certain timing on that? Like if I press both of these at the same time, it doesn't open in time. Yeah, I think independent control is going to be for the best because it depends on the dimensions of the ditch that you're crossing and how high the other side is. Because you might want to open it more first before you start putting it down. But there we go. All right, now let's see what happens if I try to separate myself. If I just back, why can't I back up here? Why can't I back up? All right, now I'm stuck in, oh, there we go. I don't know why I was stuck in there. Now I can bring this up. Okay, and then I should be able to cross the bridge. Oh, it is laggy. But I'm on, oh, and this bridge has no friction. Uh, there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of problems with this build right now. But I'm gonna see about solving them. I want this to be a nice, smooth experience, which is asking a lot of scrap mechanic. <laughs> Okay, so I've made a whole bunch of adjustments and fine tuning and one of the major ones was adding suspension to this thing because not enough wheels were getting traction on, on uh, the uneven terrain. I've also made it a little bit lighter because I just made it way too heavy at the base. I replaced the top with all plastic there. So we still have a lot of weight in the back to offset the bridge though. So we actually have a pretty decent trench over here. The rocks are going to make it a little iffy, but I think that's going to be a great final test. But first, let's see if this thing can function on flat ground. Just like the video that we watched. They just put it over ground. So we're gonna put it over grass or you know, what? let's just use this road Hypothetically this road is uh, a trench. So let's see if I can theoretically cross this road with this bridge layer All right foot goes down and we can open up and lay it down and oh, yeah that more than covers this All right now we just back up Back on out just like that bring the arm back up and then we should just be able to go straight across and I really got to lower the engine speed a little bit but that worked pretty fine I mean other than the frame rate which I mean considering I have suspension on this thing now I don't know what I expected but here's the uh the real test is being able to pick it back up after placing it down picking it up from the other side all right all right we got to move on oh that worked out pretty well Push in. Okay, and now if I press this button and this button, they should work together to push the bridge up as it folds in. And then this back section should catch the bar as I bring this part down, keeping it nice and secure as I drive around now. All right, that was a successful test. Now let's see, let's see if we can actually apply it to a real world situation. I mean, real world as much as I can get in this video game. Uh, where is a good, I, the, the flattest spot is going to be the best spot. All right, let's see what happens. Can this thing even reach across there? That's a long way. All right, we put that down. Open up the bridge. Lower it. That was good timing. All right, now can I pull out? Oh, I was worried about this. There's pressure. There's definitely going to be pressure on the bridge preventing me from pulling out because it's not able to go all the way down over there. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, I was able to pull the pins out. Oh, how am I going to get on top of that, though? See, it's not even. You really need an even trench. You better hope that those trench builders... Oh, this works. Oh, my God. I'm really glad I made the vehicle lighter. All right, let's just go, 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 go. How am I supposed to pick this up now? There's no way I'm going to be able to pick this thing up. I don't think this is going to work. Well, let's try it. Yeah, it's just not even at all. Come on. No, I don't think I can do this. It has to be a flat trench. Yeah, and then there we go. All right, we lost the bridge. But you know what? We got our troops across. Is there another trench that is more suitable for this challenge? 
Okay, I am determined to get across this gap and pick up the bridge afterwards. One of these positions is gonna be a good position. This is not looking like one of them right now. Cause I still gotta back out of here. Oh, oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. There we go. Bridge is down. Am I gonna be able to get on top of that thing? <laughs> oh, no. No, it's good. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Everything's working just as intended, as you can clearly see. We got it. Now, picking it back up. This has been showing to be the most difficult part, and it is mostly just because of uneven terrain, making it difficult to align with the bridge in order to retrieve it. Because look at this. How am I supposed to get into the slots like this? Okay, we're getting a little bit closer. We're so close, but also very, very far. Oh, <gasps> yes. No way, no way, no way, no way. No way. Please work, please work. Oh my goodness, that should not have worked. And yet here we are. All 10 frames successful. Man, that took a lot of little adjustments in order to get those prongs in the right position, but I feel like that's as much of a success as we're gonna get with this thing. We do not have a lot of control over the angles in which this bridge can be laid. But I think I am comfortable in claiming now that I have successfully recreated an armored vehicle launched bridge that can successfully deploy a bridge and pick it back up once it has gone gone across the bridge, at least in flat ground tests. You know what, maybe that is why they were doing flat ground demonstrations. Because it is pretty clear now to me, at least in the version that I've created, that uh, putting these bridges on any uneven terrain makes it very difficult to get in position on the bridge, to cross the bridge, and have it lay nice and flat for, you know, its main purpose. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a three and a half hour process to get this thing working. If you enjoyed the recreation of this crazy machine, you'll probably enjoy some other things I've recreated that you can check out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.